Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about the connection failed error that we got and get on the AirPods. So these these are the AirPod 2 that I have, and this is an iPhone SE. So when I just open it up, try to establish the connection, and we'll go through the process. Uh, so not your AirPods. Let's tap on the connect hold button at the center. Uh, should take us to the next step. Yep, there it is. It's time to connect. And that's where it should uh, give an error. Connection failed. Let's wait for a few more seconds. Ah, and there it is. So you see the connection failed. And try again. You keep trying, you will keep getting the same message. The reason is these are not genuine AirPods. And when uh, you know you try this application tries to validate them with the apple server the apple server is basically failing that connection saying that these are not genuine the serial number has been blocked the reason is that this serial number has been extensively used by these fake airport providers and hence at some point apple discovered that you know this is being misused hence they've blocked it so it's not able to validate hence you get this connection fail error now, in terms of the look, in terms of the design, the weight, they look pretty identical to the legit ones. And these are the genuine ones that I have. Very similar design. It's very difficult to make out. Uh, so, well, a good practice would be that if you're trying and buying, you know, from the secondhand market, perhaps you should take the original ones, borrow it from your friend. And if you try and try and put these, the, the pods, into the case the polarity will be different and you will see that you know it does not fit in uh, there would be a size mismatch the other test is to try and figure out the serial number go into checkcoverage.apple.com and when you query this serial number it's gonna basically say that uh, this this serial number has been replaced or it's an incorrect serial number so you'll get a, a red error over there uh, that basically means that it's it's a it's not a legit one. It's always good to ask for a for a purchase receipt. Uh, that helps you know establish the right proof of ownership and avoids you from you know getting into some kind of scams. Hope this video was helpful. Do like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.